Hi, I'm Edwin Daytalk and I'm a photographer. I grew up in the Philippines until I was about 11 years old until my family migrated to Sydney, Australia. I was raised there until, you know, for most of my 20s and uh, I became an accountant until I discovered photography. I took up a, uh, a black and white course to learn how to develop film and, and print black and white pictures. I just found this photography thing so exciting, but it was more of a uh, diversion from the corporate world. I've been a fashion photographer now for 20 years, and during that time, I've been taking pictures on assignment and have a collection of uh, travel pictures that I've, um, I've taken for the last 20 years. I shot film for 12 to 15 years. Most of my fashion career I've, I've shot on film. Now the switch to digital was, at the start, was quite hard to accept, but you, you have to, to keep up with the commercial world. The things that I've learned shooting film was you learn to take better pictures at the end because you think and learn to use the camera for what it is. Most photographers these days buy cameras that are so sophisticated that they tend to forget that the camera is, is quite a simple concept. That's why I think every photographer should go through learning to use an analog camera and they will appreciate the photography process for what it is rather than appreciating the technology of new cameras. For most of my work I've shot colour. But how I got into photography was actually because of black and white. I love the darkroom process and I've learned to concentrate on my lighting when I shoot black and white. Rather than looking at shades of colors, I find it a lot more timeless and you become more aware of your composition and your lighting. The first time I saw the beach was when we went to Australia. I grew up in the Philippines with 7,000 islands, but I've never been taken to the beach. We lived in a very crowded, polluted city that um, the most we saw was maybe a swimming pool in someone's house. I find beaches a great place to just watch people, as well as, you know, when you take time off, you go to the beach. Unconsciously, I never really look at it as, as a place to take pictures. I always chase the sunrise and I'm an early starter. If I live near the beach, I would take advantage of waking up before sunrise and go for a run. I've been fascinated mainly with the beaches in Southeast Asia. It's a contrast from the beaches in Australia. Australia have a very aggressive beaches with waves. And they produce such dynamic um, textures on, on photographs. But at the same time, when you go to Southeast Asia or other exotic countries, the sunrise and the sunsets are different. They look a lot more peaceful and more visually entertaining. <laughs> 